Skeptics contend that any scheme for charging visitors to websites that out-reward the vendor adequately would require steep prices, blanking the kind of frequent casual use of websites that surfers now take for granted. So casual use, everything is fun. What's going on here is this new scheme where you're going to charge people lots of money. So it's not casual use anymore, it's something that you take for granted. It's something that would actually limit the frequent casual use. So hey, you have to pay a lot of money. So what word means to limit, hold back? Well, we have A, bridling. Bridle is something you put around a horse to rein it in, to pull it back. So that definitely works. Exciting? Nope. Forbidding. That's a really strong word. Forbidding the kind of frequent casual use. It's not necessarily forbidding, saying you are not allowed to have this casual use. But in general, it's cutting back on. It's limiting or restricting this frequent casual use of the web. D, inhibiting, that works perfectly. When you hold something back, you bridle it, you inhibit it. There's our answer. Provoking is kind of the opposite of what we're going for because when you provoke something, you make it likely to happen. And reversing the kind of frequent casual use, well, could maybe reverse it. But there's the thing. Just because it can do something in sentence equivalence, you want to make sure that the answers match up. They create synonymous sentences. A and D are similar words, similar sentences to limit to hold back. Reverse is to change completely, and that's a much stronger meaning. So may work by itself, but we need a pair, and that pair is A and D.